what's up youtube set of fits here and um today is currently wednesday i believe but update you guys on my trade um i'm currently in u30 euro nzd usdjpy and as you guys can see this is another account that is flipped already um usdjpy i'm gonna let it continue to rock for a little bit i may pull partials or i may pull the rest of it right now actually because it's about hit a certain level that i am watching and paying attention to but um yeah i'm gonna hey, call does anybody have a sorry about that as you guys heard i am at work but i'm gonna go ahead and close these trades and then i'm still let my big position rock my position now we at the top because i do feel like it's going to drop even more uh, let's check on us 30. so us 30 um i feel like it's going to continue to drop as well i have no reason to close this trade out right now but this account <laughs> like i said is flipped i may go ahead and close it out with draw this hundred and then i may re-enter uh, let's go down to the one minute So, as you guys can see, I got the perfect entry right here at the top. Um, and it's been tanking ever since. So, let's see. Because I want to. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull here. I'm going to secure these profits. And then if a, another opportunity present itself, then I will take that opportunity. But I'm going to go ahead and secure these profits and withdraw. So that is account number four now. Um, I do. I'm going to try to flip another one in this week as well. But for Euro NZD, so... Your NZD has been moving very slow, but I have no reason to close out this trade right now, honestly. So yeah, your NZD is still valid for me to continue to hold it. I ain't gonna close it out right now. Um, yeah, I ain't gonna close it out. But I will move my stop loss up to 65,570. Nice, no, too close. I'm gonna do 65,500. The reason I'm doing that, for one, always protect your profits, guys. Always protect your profits. For two, it's in an area to where, um, if it does pull back to here, you know what I'm saying, I'll just re enter with my profits for this trade will already be secured. Um, that's good enough for me. Let's take a look at it. So with US 30, call the entry all the way at the top. We secured 591 pips. That is great. And your NZD has traveled. Cause I may pull out right now, depending on how many pips I've caught. It's at 85 right now. If it get back to 100, or when it get back to 100, I'm going to uh, pull out right there. Because it looks like it's respecting this downtrend right here a little bit. But it did break back above it. So we're going to see. I'm going to continue to watch it. I'm going to just continue to watch it. Let's use... Well, no, nah, I'm going to hold it. It's going to travel up to my TP. I'm going to hold it. It's just going to go slow. USDJPY. That was 122 pips on that trade. Oh, around 122 pips. 
Let's see about field level. So, seem like we're still pretty good in this trade. Um, not really worried about it at all, honestly. And then it did just pull back to the 50 from here. So I'm gonna watch this area. Uh, that's another reason I did pull out. So yeah, I'm gonna see what it do. If it breaks below this low, that's when I'm gonna re-enter for some more positions, but it has to break back below this low. So I've been basically just traded that minor structure right there. But all my trades are looking really, really good right now. Um, Let's see if I can find anything else or if anything else is moving. Nas came up very, very close. I wanted to take that sale just like I did with US 30. Um, I expected Nas to pull up just a little bit more. And then I want to catch that entry at the top just like I did with US 30. But um, as you guys can see, US 30 pulled right up to my zone and then it tanked. It had already bounced off once and then it came back in, filled in, um, back came up to this wick right here. And from that point on, it came up to the last buying candle before the sell off. It was a great sell right there. That was my trade for that. Gold took off on me. Um, <laughs> I thought it was going to continue to break through the trends and then reject and come back down and sell off, but it did not. It actually kept on selling off once it um, broke back below here. So that's gold. I was definitely anticipating gold and I was sitting on that trade. I was waiting for it to happen. Um, Euro JPY finally sold off. I missed it. I was expecting for it to sell off a little bit early, but it pulled up just a little bit more. But look at where it pulled up to, guys. It pulled up right here to this low right here, the low that it had to break. And now it's selling back off. So I missed that, but I did have my alarm set, as you guys can see. For some reason, it did not trigger, though. I guess because it didn't cross it. Um, that's why my alarm didn't go off, but pulled up to it and now it's selling off. It tapped it and bounced off. Um, same thing with GJ. So as you guys can see, this zone right here at the, right here at the end of this wick or not a wick, but these candlesticks right here where I took that by. Um, you guys can see, pull right back to that and then sew it off. So, missed <laughs> GJ as well, <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. Um, Euro USD went up a lot higher than what I expected it to, but I do see a trend forming. So I'm showing you guys like what I see when I'm looking at my charts, how I mark on my charts. I try to keep it simple as possible. Um, but, you know, my trading style may not be for you guys, stuff like that. And I know you guys may have a lot of questions as well. But if you guys do have questions, you know, just drop them in the comment section. I will try to answer them and make a video on them or you guys can join my course where I make trading very simple for you. And you guys can understand it and get to making money as soon as possible. As you guys can see, the same thing happened with GU. A lot of these pairs ended up retracing this week, which is what I was expecting. Um, a lot of the trades re, um, traced back to previous areas or previous structure that it broke. And now they're rejecting off of it. So all of these trades have rejected off of previous areas that they have broken. And um, I was pretty much waiting for it. That was about 100 pips on every single pair that we just went through. 
So all these trades moved like I wanted them to accept one of them. Um, now I'm waiting on a retracement for USD CAD. Once that retracement happens, then I'm going to hop in that trade because it did just break structure. As you guys can see, it broke this uptrend right here. Now all I'm waiting for is the retest. Once that happened, I'm in that trade. But so far, we're looking really, really good. Um, let's go back to US 30. Yep, it is pulling back right now. So I'm going to continue to watch it. Um, let's see. I missed the re-entry opportunity while I was making this video. <laughs> it happened. Right here, it wixed out. Right at um, the retest of this area. So on this retest is where I would have entered. It also came up here a little bit, filling in this wick, this bottom wick, but this is where I would have popped my entry. And no, that's up here. That's why I would look for that. And now it's selling back off. So when it breaks this low, I may re enter the end because then that would be a sign of continuation. But yeah, great trading morning so far. Great trading week. Um, most of these trades I've been sitting in all week, like UJ, your NZD, I've been sitting in those trade all week. US 30, I took that last night though. And um, you guys see what happens so thank you guys for watching well it's not the end of the video because it's not the end of the week yet but thank you guys for watching this portion of the video i'm gonna see y'all in a little bit man i'm out let's go ahead and make this withdrawal man's cash out what's up guys so um very shortly after this video that i recorded you know i told you guys i took my profits and i you guys watched me hop in on another entry for a us 30 well looking at that entry right now you guys can see from my arrows from up here at the top um i took that first sale you guys see where i closed out i re-entered right where i closed out due to more confirmations and then ended up selling down a whole lot more entering in a or resulting in another flip um of another account so amazing day so far you guys can even look at my trade history as you guys can see let's go to the last week that's the first trade right here. Um, so you guys see that I have withdrew and closed out of that first trade. This is the second trade right here for US 30. So another account flip, um, amazing day so far. Still at work, <laughs> sadly, but I'm gonna see you guys right after this, man. I got to get home, you know, mark up some more charts and see where this thing go. Um, I may close out of this as well. Go ahead and secure these profits and get another withdrawal. And I'm going to see you guys later on.